So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're going to have a look at the past, present and future energies of your connection. All right. So what I'm getting here, your challenge of the week is the death card out here. Something needs to end. There is something that is coming to an end or needs to end or has already ended out here. And your challenge is to let it go. Your challenge is to wrap up a cycle that does not serve you. The challenge is basically for you to grow. You know, there are a lot of things that you've outgrown and it's best for you to shed that skin and move into something better and move into something new. That's your challenge out here. So for a lot of you, I feel you're resisting and ending with someone out here. Uh, what you don't see coming out here is the page of swords out here. So I do feel there is someone here who's keeping an eye on you, stalking you on social media, trying to get more information about you. And uh, you may feel that they're not interested. I feel this person here does have a lot of emotions and love for you. But they're trying to watch you from a distance and trying to wait for the right, for the right moment to come towards you. Now, in the past, I do have the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords and the Four of Swords. So do feel here that there could be an air sign or an earth sign that you were dealing with. Okay, something happened. All right, there was a breakup. Probably a shakeup between you both. Probably there was something that didn't work out between you both or stopped working out. And you cut off an earth sign, okay? Or you cut off an air sign. Take it how it resonates out here. But do feel there was a lot of healing in the past out here, okay? Whoever you were dealing with. There was a lot of healing. I don't feel there was communication, all right? This is telling me there was a lot of lack of communication or no communication at all. Because you were trying to heal from a situation and you guys were on a break. Now, in the current situation, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Cups in reverse. There is still a very, very strong connection between you and your past person that you are healing from. But right now, you are at that point where you are wanting to invest. You understand the value of investment out here. All right. But however, you could be dealing with someone here who is emotionally unavailable or you are unavailable out here. Maybe you're looking at this connection where, yes, it is a very strong connection. I'm ready to put in the work. I'm ready to invest into this connection. But the thing is that you may be always the one who's overpowering your love. You know, you're always the one who's getting drained out because you're always giving, 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 giving and giving only because the connection is so strong. So I feel right now you're at a pause and you're trying to reflect. Do I want to wait more? How long is it going to take? Is it going to keep going the way it's going and I get nowhere? Is it going to be a waste of time? Is this going to be a drain? You know, just throwing all my investment, you know, into the drain. Okay. In the future, we have the Ten of Wands, the Strength and the Three of Pentacles. So I feel that there is going to be a situation which is going to require, require a lot of strength from you. Why? Because there is a collaboration or a teamwork that I see in the future out here, okay? Where this person comes towards you and wanting to work out things in the future. But it is going to take a lot of strength from your side, Leo. I feel you're dealing with someone out here who does care a lot about you, who has a lot of love for you, but they expect you to do all the work, which is why the end of wants you, which is getting too overbearing for you, okay? Which is why it's asking you to have the strength out here, okay? So now it's up to you to decide whether you want to end this thing, okay, or you want to keep holding on to the connection, which is overwhelming and which is a big burden for you. Let's start with clarifying the challenge. Clarify the death, please. This is why it's your challenge. Your challenge out here is the death because you need self-love. You need to love yourself first, Leo. I think you love your, you love this person more than you love yourself. You're dealing with unrequited love. You're dealing with a very toxic situation. In order for you to grow in life, in order for you to move forward into something better, be it the same connection or be it something new, okay? The connection needs a transformation out here. You're constantly getting hurt. There is a lack of forgiveness, forgiveness from your side, okay? And you need to focus all the love on yourself, okay? You are dealing with somebody who is very toxic, who probably comes into your life, gets what they want and they leave. You need to stop stressing. You need to release the worry. You no longer need to let this situation or this person worry you anymore, okay? This is why something needs to end out here. Now, this does not mean ending a connection with this person. This can also mean ending a state of mind, ending your state of mind, ending your belief system where you feel this is it and this is where you need to stick to or a belief system where you feel this is how it's supposed to be and this is the right thing to do, okay? Like maybe I'm asking for too much. You're not, Leo. You're not asking for too much, okay? If you release this person and when you go out there in the real world, you realize that what you were asking for wasn't wrong. Who you were asking from was the wrong thing. 
All right, let's clarify the page of swords. <clears throat> this is what you don't see coming. So there, even though you've got communication with this person out here, this person is still keeping an eye on you. They're not gonna leave you alone. What's the page of swords? You are dealing with someone out here who does feel a very, very strong connection to you, Leo. Okay, they do. They probably are married to you. For a few of you, you're married to this person. For the others of you, they, they want this long-term relationship with you. They do want to set things right with you. All right. For a lot of you, this is a legal marriage. For the others of you, they want to set things right with you. But the reason why they hold back and the reason why they just keep you and watch you from a distance is because this person here is a very emotionally manipulator. You need to take care of that. This person here has a habit of, you know, emotionally blackmailing other people because their intuition is on point, right? So they use their intuition for all their self-serving benefits. You know, they're just emotionally unavailable is what I'm getting out here, okay? So this is why it's asking you to release this connection or end something out here which is not working out for you because this person here comes into your life they emotionally manipulate you, they make you feel, they lead you on, okay, make, making you feel that they still love you or, you know, they still want this with you. But actually, deep within, they're always shut off. They're always closed off. And you're getting tired and fed up of giving to this connection over and over again, okay? And this is causing you a lot of stress, Leo, by the way, you know? You need to release the situation that is causing too much worry in your life, all right? If you let this go, you are going to be in a better place. At least a mental, uh, mentally, you feel better. And you no longer will be able, you know, will be worrying and stressing and obsessing about a situation or a connection. All right. <clears throat> uh, for the King of Swords. you leo i feel you walked away or this person walked away towards something new okay i'm getting for a few of you a few of you walked away towards something brand new okay for the others of you for the others of you i feel that there was this person out here who walked away from you but then they came back towards you with an opportunity of something more promising okay and there was celebration in the past is what i'm getting so be it you cutting this person off and walking towards something brand new all right, because there was an offer here or for the others of you, you may have walked away from this person or this person came back towards you. All right. With clarity and they wanted to start something new, brand new with you. All right. And there was some kind of celebration here. But then what, what's the four of swords? Yeah. So I do feel there was a, a breakup out here and there was healing because you got fed up. Okay. There was a lot of resistance from your side, but you eventually got fed up for waiting for this person or waiting for something to happen. Maybe you invested into the situation and there was this connection out here where you kept giving, 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 hoping, wishing, praying that eventually you will be able to take things to the next level out here. But unfortunately, you were met with a lot of resistance from this person's side, which is why you just had to completely pull away. All right. Now, let's see. <clears throat> Clap for the Seven of Pentacles. There's something that you're waiting for right now. Clap for the Seven of Pentacles. I feel for a lot of you, even though the connection is very strong, like I said, it's a very strong bond out here. Emotionally, you guys are very connected. You would still want to work on this connection, okay? There is still this energy where you don't mind collaborating, you don't mind teamwork, okay? But unfortunately, you see the reality for what it is. There's no more daydreaming. There's no more wishful thinking. There's no more uh, options, okay, choices. I feel the reason you're waiting out here is because you're not sure because you've been pretty fed up all right you're lacking the energy now all right very slowly but suddenly you're throwing in the towel because something is taking too long for you okay something's just taking too long to come and get into fruition and you're questioning your investment you're questioning yourself do i want to continue investing into this you know it's like you're ready to wait but there's this big question mark if i wait how long am i supposed to wait till i get my desired outcome or am i just going to be waiting forever Okay, which is why you're right now, I feel you're coming up as emotionally unavailable, you know, 
you're dealing with someone out here who is emotionally unavailable and now in the current situation you're pulling away what's the queen of cups in reverse because you're just getting fed up right queen of cups in reverse. yeah exactly this person out here no matter how much you love them right there's this inconsistency okay they don't offer you anything significant Okay, they're always procrastinating about what they want to do with you or how they want to take things to the next level out here. It's very in and out. They're not offering you anything stable. They're always on and off. A very, uh, you know, a very immature approach towards the connection. And it always makes you feel left out in the cold. All right. So I feel you've seen this person, all right, functioning this way for a very long time. And now you're coming off as a point where I'm no longer investing because it hurts. It hurts bad. And you don't want to be vulnerable to this person out here only because this person out here is either a Casanova or someone out here who does not like to, you know, who likes to keep their options open. Someone who just comes in and out of your life, who wants adventure, who just, you know, makes you feel like they want it all with you. Like I said before, this person, you know, leads you on. You end up investing so much of your time, effort, energy, emotions, resources. And all you know is it just does not turn out to be the way you thought it was. Okay. So this person here, like I'm saying, very manipulative person. They do feel a strong connection with you, but that's all they want. I feel someone out here just wants the relationship, the 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 benefits of the relationship, but they don't want to take the responsibilities of it, is what I'm getting. Now clarify the ten of wands in the future. Now I do see someone out here wanting to work things out, but the other person out here releasing the connection. Ten of wands out here. Clarify the ten of wands. Yeah, there is no clarity. There is no clarity out here. In the future, there is probably no communication from this person out here. Okay, I don't see this person communicating with you in the future too. And it's just going to be too overwhelming. The no communication part is going to be too overwhelming for you. Like what? I still feel the connection, you know. And this person probably keeps coming in and out, in and out, in and out of your life. All right. More than communication, I feel there is no clarity. You don't have that 100% clarity about where this connection is going. And this person out here chooses to close off themselves, okay? Again, be it emotionally, they have feelings for you, but their approach, like I said, is very kiddish, okay? It's very childish. And this is not what you're looking for. With the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups, nah, -uh. that's a very, very bad energetic combination out here. They just, they just don't get the point. They don't know how to handle, process emotions out here. And you just feel you're dealing with someone out here who's a, a complete manipulator, all right? Which is true, but you're just choosing to end it. Okay, you're choosing to end it. Yeah. So, for a lot of you, what I'm seeing here is with the strength card out here, <clears throat> I feel that a lot of you are holding back from investing or getting back to this person out here. Because you are wholly and solely interested in your own well-being. I feel you may want growth with this person, but all of a sudden, even if you have love for this person, even though you have a lot of emotions for this person in the future, you fear that things will end badly. Because there's already been a tower moment between you both before, okay? You already know that when this person comes back, things may backfire or it will be something which is not built on a, on a um, concrete foundation, which is why you're choosing to hold yourself back. You're doing your own. You're going to control yourself from tempering yourself or just controlling your emotions and trying to tame the situation in a very practical, in a very logical way, okay? I feel you're not going to be aggressive. You're just going to be very firm in the way uh, that you approach this person out here. But I do feel in the future, this person is going to come back. They will want to work on this connection out here, but there is going to be resistance from your side only because there's no clarity out here. Okay, this person still is not giving you a 100% sure shot answer about what this connection is about, where this connection is headed, which is why you're just very dicey, you know, you're just like not sure weighing out your pros and cons and going back and forth about whether you want this or not. Okay, Leo. So that's what I have for you. Beautiful reading. Um, please do like, share, subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.